In today's video, we talk about combining training with HIIT cardio versus steady state. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravello from ProPhysique.com and I'm uh, I'm dressed up today. I'm a little fancy. That's right, still got the ProPhysique gear on. But I figured with the announcement that I'm about to make that I would uh, put a little jacket on. Don't worry, I'm still wearing shorts. But I, uh, I got some cool news last week and it's a project that I've known about for a while. But uh, my friend Eric Helms and reached out to me and he said, hey, we're, we got this big project coming out and we'd like you to be affiliated with it. And I thought, that's awesome because uh, as many of you know, Eric Holmes is someone who I've um, been friends with for a long time, looked up to for a long time. And uh, the other people on the project are Dr. Mike Zordos, who is without a doubt one of the utmost researchers on uh, training, training protocols. And so those two combined with Greg Knuckles, who if you're not familiar with Greg Knuckles, also puts out some amazing content, is a, uh, is a very strong guy as well as educated. And when you can blend those two, uh, it's always great. And all the people I just mentioned are all training and educating and doing some great things. And I get asked quite a bit. Hey Paul, I like what you do for a living. I'm interested in doing what you do. How do I go about it? Well. The cool thing is I'm associated with all these people. You know, from, from, from my first coach, Lane Norton, to all the people that I know now, I have a really cool circle of friends that when I have a question or I want to learn about some research, I can reach out to Dr. Bill Campbell, Dr. Joe Klumzeski, you know, people like Eric and Mike Zordos and uh, Lane. So I understand not everybody has that opportunity. So what's really neat about this project, it's called MASS monthly applications and strength sport, right? And so what's gonna happen is the three guys I mentioned, Greg Knuckles, Mike Zordos, and Eric Helms, they're going to take a look at all the research that's out there, right? And they're going to put it in a format that applies to what we do as strength coaches and allows us to take it in, review it, and decide if it's something that we wanna implement. Um, you guys know that I've been doing some videos recently kind of explaining a little bit of the science behind some of the studies that are out there. My friend Lauren Conlon is doing a really cool series called uh, Science Simplified. And that's basically what it is. There is a huge demand for evidence-based discussions on everything from uh, fat loss to muscle building to, you know, physique enhancement. And what's cool is it's getting better and better. But there's also a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of studies that seem like they apply, but they don't. What I like about this project is it's going to allow me to shorten the amount of time it takes me to find good research. So with that said, click the link below for the free first issue of the monthly application of Spring Sport. And the first issue, the, the, I'll, I'll post it here for you guys. That's why I'm kind of standing sideways so I can show you the, uh, the first issue. The table of contents is awesome. I mean, look at the titles of these of these uh, articles. They're fantastic. They apply directly to what we do, what I do, and if you're watching my video, most likely what you're interested in. So what I'm gonna do for this first video is do a review of the review. So the first discussion I wanna go over is Greg Knuckles' review of what is better, uh, hit cardio versus moderate cardio when combined with training. Now, the premise here is that you concurrently have to do both, right? So if you have to do a cardio as well as a training session in the same time, that's called concurrent, which would be better for you? And they tested the leg press and the bench press and they tracked things like strength, muscle thickness, and body composition for those areas. And so I'll let you guys download it and read it for yourself and review. And that's the beauty of it. So they take the research, Greg did an excellent review, explained it in terms that were simple to follow and made his point. And that's exactly what you're looking for when you want to get some information and understand it. Because some of the studies on PubMed are just too off topic. They're not focused specifically on the things that we're interested in. And also, 
it allows you to read it in a quick manner and understand if you're dealing with something that you would apply. You see, when I saw the title of this video, high intensity cardio versus moderate cardio, I immediately put my preconceived notions on what HIIT cardio was. But when I read through it, I realized that it's not what I consider HIIT cardio. The cardio they were doing was a two minute high pace interval. I do not use that type of method with my clients. I use a short burst of 15 to 20 seconds of all out sprinting, much closer to the VO2 max than these guys were doing. Also, this was more aimed at what would be better for gaining strength or gaining muscle, right? Whereas usually when I have people doing cardio, it's aimed at maintaining or getting ready for a competition or maintaining muscle while losing body fat and keeping uh, lean body mass as high as possible. So this study, although great to review, does not directly apply to what I do, but it's still awesome because there's so much more in this episode or in this issue of mass. And I'm gonna review all of them. Um, and I will do some videos from time to time on the topics uh, that I feel you guys would be interested in if that's something you would like. So comment below if this is something you would like. Comment below if you are going to download it. I'd love to hear back from you guys um, and make sure this is relevant information that you guys would be interested in. Um, you know, I think with evidence-based approaches, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And what, what's really cool is that we're starting to get to a place in exercise science where the, the studies and the information is getting more and more specific to what we're interested in. So with me being a coach, I'm very excited about this because it is something that I'm very interested in looking over things. And I will say that discussions and research that I've seen over the last couple years with, with these people has shaped the way I do things, has changed the way I do things. And so I'm excited to continue that trend. With that said, please click the link below. You will get a uh, email link and you'll get a free first issue of Mass from my friends. And uh, we'll continue this, we'll discuss it more, and we'll go over the studies, which I feel are relevant and uh, can be a part of this channel. And I'd love to hear more from you guys on what you think would be relevant if you have any thoughts. But go ahead and look over this first issue um, and just let me know what you think. You guys have an awesome Wednesday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.